Good morning, my name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Daily Devotional of April the 11th. Today I'm going to share with you a soliloquy of Mary at the cross. There is no special scripture reading. On Good Friday, what would Mary think as she stood at the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ? She was sure that Jesus was the Son of God, the promised Messiah. But how could the Messiah die without becoming King of the Jews? Let me put myself into the character of Mary and present a dramatic monologue, a soliloquy for today's meditation. Likewise, I shall present a soliloquy of Peter at the foot of the cross tomorrow. Here we go. Standing here at the skull, where many criminals have been crucified, there is a feeling of sullenness and heaviness in the air. The sky is overcast with dark laden clouds, and there is a quiet rumbling of thunder in the hills. Now is that dreadful moment, inevitable, yet too soon. It seems just yesterday when the angel of the Lord came to me, telling me that he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, that he will inherit the throne of his father David and will reign over the house of Jacob forever. At my cousin Elizabeth's home, she greeted me and called me the mother of my Lord. She called me blessed because of the blessed child I would bear and what the Lord had said would be accomplished. Even the shepherds heard the angel's proclamation that a savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. But now? These angry, jealous people have banded together to crucify Christ the Lord, the King of the Jews. Why? How can God's purpose be accomplished when this is allowed to happen? No, Jesus will be delivered by the living God. Yet, when I took him to the temple to be dedicated on the 40th day, That old godly man Simeon did say, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce you, your own soul too. Indeed, Jesus has been spoken against and the thoughts of many hearts revealed. Indeed, a sword is now piercing my own soul. How I want to weep, to understand God's plan, to see the deliverance of mighty Yahweh, El Shaddai. I have wept dry all my tears. Here he comes, my dearest son, my precious Lord Jesus. How they have beaten him, Oh, look at that mockery, a crown of thorns and a scarlet robe. His appearance is so disfigured beyond that of any man and his form marred beyond human likeness. Spare him, God, please spare him. If it hurts me so to see him this way, how much more does it hurt you, my God, to see your own son going through such anguish and pain. The soldiers are taking away his clothes. Oh, look at those nails. What has he done to deserve all these? Listen to the hammering. The nails are like swords that pierce through my own soul. Oh God, you are righteous and just. How can you bear to watch your son suffer like this? I cannot watch this dreadful sight any longer. Oh, there is that loud thud. They have raised up the cross and dropped it into the hole. Oh, oh, my Lord, my Lord. John, what are they giving him? 
wine vinegar? Oh, look how he bleeds. Listen, he's speaking. He's speaking to the thieves. Oh, I wonder what it is about. Oh, John, he's looking at us. He's so full of love. He remembers me. John, from now on, you are my son too. Oh, my son John, and my son Jesus. You remember what he said before. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Oh, I love you so, my son Jesus, my dearest Lord. Oh, the whole land is covered with darkness. How he cries out in a loud voice, Yes, God, why have you forsaken him? Others are mocking him now. God, when will you vindicate your only son? He calls out to you. How much longer will you turn away from him? He needs you, God. Right now, especially now, particularly now. Oh yes, indeed. It is finished. The whole earth is darkened. The thundering is getting louder. He cries out at the top of his voice, spending his last drop of energy. Now he turns quiet and still. Can he indeed be gone, the Son of God? God, how can your promise be fulfilled? For over 30 years, have I mistaken your will? Impossible, I don't understand. I'm so disappointed, oh, my heart breaks. Even these people beat their breasts and weep. Weep all you can, for you have treacherously crucified the Son of God. My friends, are your hearts broken too for Jesus? Jesus loves you enough to offer you his life as a substitution for your life and pardon. There is no greater love than this. Are you willing to let Jesus stand in your place before God's judgment throne? Claim his death as your own, my friend. Love him back as you accept him as your Savior and Lord. Do so right now and repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I acknowledge that as a sinner, I need your forgiveness. I accept the fact that Christ Jesus died for me at the cross. I want to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. I ask for your pardon as you see Jesus standing in my place. I invite the Holy Spirit to live within me and to guide me from now on. I want to live as your beloved child. Thank you, Heavenly Father, my Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Please send me a message if you have prayed this prayer. And my friend, I would like to send a gift to you. And maybe I should call you my brother and my sister. Welcome. May the Lord bless you. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.